But, but I mean, he clearly, I mean, you look at the testimony that he gave just recently in front of, uh, uh, on, on Capitol Hill, he's certainly not naive to many of the talking points that, you know, Uranium One, uh, you know, the spying, I mean, buzzwords that are thrown around a lot by this president, by, you know, uh, right-wing outlets. He's I'm, not naive about them. He's using them. Yes. Right. Well, yes. I'm sorry. I mean, on spying, no, that's okay. On spying, I do think that he should have known as the position of the attorney general. I think the, the, that word was in the question. And so I do think there, there was a possibility he parroted what was in the question. But he should have had the presence as the attorney general, everybody in the Justice Department, in the FBI. Unless he intentionally used that, that word. that that is a pejorative. Right. And so it certainly, from anybody on the national security side who works in the lawful legal regime that implements and the legal framework of surveillance and counterintelligence investigations and criminal investigations knows that that's a pejorative. So Unless, Shen, your objective is to your audience is an audience of one of the president of the United States and you want him to know you are you hear him saying about spying and you are repeating those words. Uh, absolutely. I, mean, I don't mean to be uh, too pessimistic about this, but I really think all signs point to him being very partisan. In this, I mean, his track record, as Carl has said, his reaching out to decide the obstruction. I mean, there's an easy way to have done this. Let's say you need to redact. You firmly believe that. Release the redacted report. Say nothing about it. No summaries. And then you can take questions. Then you have your press conference. But everything else is a spin. 